Hey everybody, Mickey here. Welcome back to the Final Fantasy X walkthrough. After learning the Jack shot and impressing Yona, hopefully. That was the Jack shot, wasn't it? <laughs> wow, it seems like she knows. Kind of surprising. How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. He he called it the sublimely magnificent Jack shot Mark III. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Pretty much clear as that, though. Jack, Yona, or uh, Yona's Jack. Is he alive? You think? Really is Titus's Jack. I don't know. But Sir Jack was my father's guardian. So he's famous here too. Yes. So if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh huh. What would you do? If you found him. Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put mom and me through. That's because really he was famous, choice, but... I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Do it with your hands. Mm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Show me that move again. Yo! Hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling I didn't that think my old man would come to Luca. He's been practicing the check he shot for a did while. Never like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was going to happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. Damn. Kind of losing the drive after everything that's been going on. Well, we continue here after a night's rest of sleep. Nice. A night's rest? Night's sleep? Whatever. But this is Luca. It looks really popular and bustling right now, but when we go in there, I'm pretty positive due to memory. There's, you, there's really not very many NPCs or people to talk to. The CG makes it look pretty good, though. Ah, over there, the ships carrying the players are arriving now. Yeah, see, there's like seven people here. This would be dock number two. All the way from Killiga, it's the Killiga Beasts. I Summoner O'Holland used to play for them. A big name to live up to. Yeah, that's pretty much the only remarkable thing about the Kilka Beasts, really. Their hometown was recently attacked by Sin. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Yes, Baba. They're going to be pulling out all the stops to try and bring back the cup this year. Exciting, isn't it, folks? Our next team off the ramp is... Well, well, well. If it isn't, the Basaid Orox. They're a living, breathing, statistical impossibility. I've never seen a team this bad. <laughs> I can appreciate the commentary, but it's also... Who would ever say that? <laughs> so openly. Only a few die-hard fans are in the audience today. Best of luck to Five of them. A safe journey back to Bessay. Right, Jim. Moving right along, our next team is... 
Here they are, folks. Our very own Luca Tower. <laughs> they've got power. They've got speed. They've got teamwork. They've got one of those they're three things. They're first class team, and they're back home in Luca. Without a doubt, they are the favorite this year, Baba. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a miracle for them to lose today. You can say that again, Jenna. Look at the crowd, folks. Look at the crowd. Again, there's about as many fans for the Luka Goers as there was the Crusade Orox, so... Who knows? Maybe they're just at the same dock that we're at. It's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you. That's not really a big deal. Stop right there, goers! Where the hell did you get that? You guys are smiling now, but not for long! Cause this year, us Aurochs are taking the cup! <laughs> Just looking at Walker's what response. What in heaven's name were you doing out there? We sure stood out, though. We were on the sphere. We were? Maester Micah is here. Already? The number three dot. What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived. That's what. Micah? Maester? Maester Micah is the leader of all the peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. He's essentially the Pope. Years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Let's all go see him. Okay, well, to Dock 3, was it? We'll head over there. Alright, let's go ahead and continue on to Dock 3. And go check out Mr. Micah. Hmm. He brings in an even bigger crowd than the Blitzball teams. Shh. Yeah, Mr. Micah is a pretty important figure here in Final Fantasy X in the world of Spira. That's a Guado, right? Who could it be? Isn't that Maester Seymour? Well, he doesn't look like an NPC, so obviously he's pretty important. Surprised that no one reprimands Titus for not doing that. Here he is, Mr. Micah. People of Spira, I thank you for your generous welcome. Rise, Mr. Seymour, and all of you as well. I present to you the son of Mr. Jiskel Guado, who departed for the far plain of Fort Night Pass. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. <laughs> I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like there's tensions between humans and Guado. You too. Bow your head. Seymour being half Guado, half human. His dad passed away two weeks ago, Fortnite. Coming on a little strong. He sets you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Hustle.
In case you couldn't tell, Waka is very into the entire dogma of Spira, Yevin. Where's Waka? At the matchup draws. We had to play the Gores in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. Well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Can walk up. What a seed is, <laughs> right? We're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. That's right. We got seeded. Two wins, and we're the champions. That's great, but the Albed Sykes are pretty hard first to beat. First. Let's go over the basics again, boys. So here, Walk is go ahead, uh, gonna go ahead and give us a Blitzball tutorial. Here's everything that you need to know about Blitzball. But, uh, and of course, I'm gonna end this tutorial and I'll show you guys how to play while I'm doing so. There you are. Someone said they saw Sir Oren in a cafe. Hey, nice. Uh, Oren? Yes, Sir Oren. Let's go find him. Yeah, maybe he came along with Titus after Sin was hey. over in Zanarkin and destroyed hey, it. Hey, hey, The game starts, like, real soon. You come back quick, yeah? Hey, I'll be back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And Waka hey, doesn't Waka. seem too confident. You're stiff, man. No, no, not your face. Yeah. Just breathe out. Relax. Okay. Like this. <clears throat> Just breathe. Yeah. <laughs> There's a ton of pressure on Waka. I mean, this is the last year that he's going to be playing, so... Maybe now we can find Sir Jack. A lot huh? rides on How? this. He really wants to win that tournament. Sir Oren was also my father's guardian. So, he might know where Sir Jekt is. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the RN Yuna was talking about. And the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know why, but I knew it was the same guy. I knew it was the same Oren. Yeah, it's a pretty good point. I mean, Yuna's Jekt and Titus' Jekt match up, too. Hey! Albed Sykes, right? Some Albed saved me the other day, and... This girl, Riku, gave me food, and... Uh... You don't understand me, do you? We can uh, understand a little bit of what they're saying, though. Uh, anyway... If you meet Riku, tell her thanks for me. Oh, and as for the first game... May the best team win. But while I was talking there, and before Titus uh, ended up approaching them, they were talking about Yuna being a summoner. So that's something to keep in mind. But well, before we go ahead and search for Orin, let's go over here. And right behind one of the Kalika beasts here, You'll see a little book by his shoe, or his ankle. That's one of the Albed Primers. Not bad. Go ahead and grab a chest here while we're at it. Now there's a couple of items that we can go ahead and pick up over in Luca here, but I won't be getting all of them quite yet. Let's see, I just want to make sure, as far as my sphere grid, gro sphere grid goes, I want to make sure that I'm all in order for everything here. So for... Let's see, Lulu here, I would hopefully like to be able to get to here at some time soon uh, for a specific item that we're going to pick up later, but I might not get to it. I'm a little bit under-leveled, I'd say, at this point in the game. So, anyway, let's go ahead and just use a little bit of our sphere gridding here. And keep Gamari there. So, you know, a couple of spheres. Yeah, look at that. Three magic. That's a lot for right now. I mean, 
you, you get these little baby boosts, like plus one or plus two, but being plus three and plus fours, I mean, that, those are that's a lot of stats to add at, at pretty much any time in the game, too, not just in the very beginning. There's this extract speed uh, we could get, and as I've told you guys, though, I want to I want Titus to stay right here, so he's not going anywhere. So Kimari's not going anywhere, and Titus isn't going anywhere. Either. Could talk to some of the people at Luca here, but uh, a little bit short on time. So, all right, let's do a little bit of exploring here, and let's head over to the docks because there's a couple of pretty nice items that I want to be able to grab. Let's go over here, and I believe if we go, yeah, you'll see underneath this area right here, they don't show you from this angle, but when you go right through here, the camera shifts where you can see a couple of treasure chests here, and these are pretty nice to pick up. You get a magic sphere, as well as an HP sphere. And the reason why I think those are so nice is because of the fact that, let's see here, with Lulu, that's exactly what I was talking about with the sphere gridding. See, eventually when I go ahead here and learn focus, I'm going to use uh, the magic sphere that we just got to boost her magic strength. So, uh, magic spheres always give a plus four node to the, stat, uh, the sphere grid. So that's how much I'll be able to gain as far as the stats go with uh, Lulu and her strength. Um, it's a pretty, like I said, that's a really, really good boost, especially in the beginning of the game. It helps a lot. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to use it anytime too shortly. So let's continue on forward here. That's the big treasure that you want to get in this area. And there's a couple more things, like which is like Phoenix Downs and... Um, I think some gill and oops continued on back but let's go ahead and check this out yeah a couple phoenix downs like i was saying i think there might be something right over here does the camera shift no not quite i don't have memorized where every single treasure is i mean luca um i i think that the big reason why is because these treasures that i'm obtaining right now they're not extremely important well, there's Awaka. I can talk to him a little bit because I would actually like to go ahead and get some things from him. There's the 600 guild that I was talking about. And hey, there's one more. And I think that actually finished up the treasures that I want to get. The Tidal Sphere. Uh, the Tidal Sphere is an equip for... Tidal Spear. Do I keep saying Sphere? Anyway, it's, it's an equip for Kimari there where you can go ahead and uh, it has Water Strike on it. Yeah, so to deal more damage out, a lot of enemies have weaknesses to specific elements, like the gold or yellow element was weak to water, so that's what helps with uh, the stores in the stadium water strike. The tournament, but I'm always active for business. Cool. Well, good. We definitely want to talk to Awaka right now, because what I would like to go ahead and get is... Mm, I'd like to get the Thunder Spear and the Stunning Steel. Um, Rule Breaker, not necessarily, but hmm, let's see here. Fire Ward isn't bad either, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to actually sell off a lot of my equipment here off screen, and hopefully I'll have enough money to go ahead and purchase the uh, Stunning Steel and Thunder uh, Yeah, the Stunning Steel. Uh, again, if I have enough money to not sell off my Red Armlet, then nice, and I won't, because that, those wards, they can be kind of useful in the beginning of the game. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and set it off, uh, sell it off, and make enough money to buy everything that I need. So I sold off most of my equipment here. Uh, looks a little bit unsorted right now, but yeah, I pretty much sold off everything that I needed to. Uh, I did, I noticed that I did win this Twilight Steel, so I kept it just for keepsake here. I was able to not sell off the Red Armory, which is pretty nice. But so now I'm going to go ahead and buy the Stunning Steel. What that does is it adds slow touch. Touch is pretty much a 50%, meaning that uh, with slow touch, it can go ahead and possibly inflict slow at, well, around 70 or 50%, not 70%, 50%. Welcome to Awakas. The upgraded version to that is slow strike or poison strike, things like that. Let's go ahead and buy a couple of echo screens just in case. Um, but poison strike does a uh, 
inflicts basically 100% of the time compared to uh, this, the touch being uh, 50% of the time. So, yeah, that's that. The Stunning Steel, I'm actually going to hold for quite a while, too. It's fairly useful. We don't get slow for a while, so we're going to be we're going to be using it here and there. What's going on? Hmm, that's right. Yuna has a little bit of celebrity, so there's going to be a lot of people talking to her and I'm sorry. Che checking her out, I guess. It's like that guy in the blue shirt who keeps stalking Yuna. Hey, let's go. You're really famous. <laughs> Guess she just knows a little bit of that, though. I mean, she's kind of similar over in Sanakin. He's pretty popular too. I hope we don't get separated. Yuna. Huh? Hmm? What was that? <laughs> I don't know why Yuna had to mention the separation thing. We do this to cheer on Blitz players. I can't even do that. I don't know how to do that. Put your fingers in your mouth like this. I've always wanted to, but. This? Uh -uh. Not like that. Does this still this. work if you have gloves on? Then, you just blow. It's not working. It's because you're eating Marcus. your fingers. Okay. Uh, hey, use that if we get separate. Then, I'll come running, okay? <laughs> well, guess we should just stick together then. Until you can do it. Yes, sir. Smooth, smooth, Titus. Yeah, I've never learned how to be able to do that. I've always wanted to, though. I'm pretty positive you can't do it without gloves. Before heading over to the red arrow section, let's go over here. An item that I'd like to pick up. This is the music and theater section, where you can go ahead and, well, do exactly that. Purchase music uh, and movies, very CG clips that are from the game. And I want to say that item that I'm looking to go ahead and grab is over here. Yep, right here. It's a little bit harder to see because it kind of meshes in with the carpet, but another book, another Elbed Primer. Yeah, not bad. I think at this point, I mean, I should say I think, that's all of the Elbed Primers that you can get at this point in the game, so so far we're at 100%. I intend to keep it that way. All right, let's go ahead into the main town square. Wow, this is a pretty big town. Luca is the second largest city in Spira. I thought every town was little, you know, like Besaid and Kilika. Pretty much are. Towns don't usually get bigger than that. I mean, hell, the number one city. Because when a lot of people start to We don't really even get to explore it. Sin? Hmm. What about Luca? It's safe here? It's not any different, but the stadium is here. The Crusaders fight to protect it with all their strength. They protect the stadium? Blitzball is really the only entertainment that we have. Spear is a little short on fun these days. <laughs> Whoa. Talk about pressure. <laughs> That's right. Is Xanarkand like this too? Mm, not really. Complete opposite, really. Hmm. Well, there are more buildings. All tall ones. And cramped together. Oh. They must be so tall. Don't you ever get dizzy? <laughs> oh, nothing like that, Yuna. Let's go find Sir Oren. 
Well, anyways, I, I don't know how much protection the Crusaders are going to add. Uh, in order to progress with the story we go through here, but I'm going to pick up one final treasure, and then we'll call it a day. I mean, if the Crusaders can't even take out one of the Lord Ochu, then how the hell are they going to protect things from sin? It's the last chest that I wanted to open up there. It's a thousand kill. And next time, we're going to continue on. We'll go into what's considered the Cafe of Luca, and hopefully we'll go ahead and spot Oren. It'd be nice to see him. Until then, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll catch you later.